Hi, and welcome. Thank you for tuning in. I imagine there's a lot going on in your life right now. There's a lot going on for all of us. We're all being impacted by this in different ways, but we're all being impacted. And what I'm hearing from people is that they're looking for support. You're looking for ways to reduce stress and anxiety. You're looking for ways to work with the uncertainty. You're looking for ways to hold the pain of not being able to help a loved one. You're looking for ways to deepen your sleep. You're looking for ways to keep structure and routine in your day so you don't fall into negative patterns. You're looking for ways to just hold all of the chaos that is going on without getting so sucked into it and overwhelmed by it. Unfortunately, there, there are powerful practices uh, to do this. And this is part of my work. This is a, um, what I teach. Practices of mindfulness, meditation, and presence are, are trainings, really, that help us develop a quality of mind, and you could say heart, to, to have a quality of peace that can exist even with all of the uncertainty, the chaos going on around us. And I'm happy to share those with you. I'll be offering a, a three-day online mindfulness retreat, June uh, 5th through 7th. Now, this was originally going to be an in-person retreat, but given the circumstances, um, obviously that needs to shift. So we're moving it online, and that means a different format, a different experience, and, and I'm tailoring these teachings to fit more what is going on in all of our lives right now because it's inescapable. Now, the thing about a normal retreat is that you're retreating from your life, meaning you're, you're separating yourself from your normal context, normal people, going into a, a particular kind of container and setting and learning new ideas, teachings that you really get to dive deeply into without as much distraction. And then you practice going back into your life. And it's powerful and I love it. I'm a big fan of those kinds of retreats. But one of the limitations of them, of course, is that you're not getting to practice integrating in real time the teachings with your real life. And that's what is so powerful about what we're going to do June 5th through 7th, which is that instead of retreating out of our life, we're going to be treat retreating into our life, both this life here, the mind and body, but also our life around us, our home, familiar people, familiar geographical context, all the things that give us a lot of joy, but also maybe trigger us a lot. These are the things that make us think, oh, I could never go on a retreat or I can't do my practice here. And that's exactly why we need to do it here. It's why we practice in the first place. Mindfulness, meditation, presence, positive psychology, all of these teachings, they don't mean anything unless we can bring them into our life. And now that is needed more than ever. It's needed for us to keep some sanity and groundedness, but it's also needed for our loved ones, our friends, our family, our community, and our world at large. This experience we're going through, as painful and as unfortunate as it is, is an opportunity because we're all going to transform and we can transform for the worse or we could come out on the other side more empowered, more tenderized, more open, more connected, more grounded and more resilient. So that's what we're going to explore in this retreat. You can learn all about it below, the structure, the teachings. And you might be thinking, you know, I, there's no way I could take this time out of, out of my life. And I want you to know this is not about taking this out of your life. Yes, there are going to be periods where I'm asking you to maybe uh, go in a room by yourself or in the bathroom if you need to take a, a little bit of time to come together, to practice, to learn a new teaching. But the majority of it will be you still in your day. But various prompts to bring these teachings into your day, into your relationships, your connections, your, while you're cooking a meal, while you're eating, while you're alone. That, that is the site for transformation. So, um, so it can be really powerful. And, and I've done a lot of teaching over Zoom, but never a retreat like this. So I am very excited to go about it with, uh, with Beginner's Mind with you. Uh, we have a great tech team that is helping to support this, and I would love for you to be a part of it. Again, I don't know what you're going through in your life right now, um, but the fact that you're on this page 
fact that you're listening to this and you've made it all the way through about five minutes might mean that um, there's a kernel of interest in you, somewhere in your heart, somewhere in your mind, that this kind of experience is speaking to. Um, and if that's the case, I really encourage you to join us. Um, I look forward to hopefully seeing you there, sharing some of these teachings with you, and hopefully for all of us to come out on the other side uh, with hearts that are a little bit bigger, minds that are a little bit more grounded and steady, and a healing and integration that I think we all need after going through this, um, this worldwide experience. So thank you for your practice. Talk to you soon and take care.